are watching this little video and they're probably thinking, well, what's the big deal about having a fruit tree? So what would you tell them about that? Um, well, I like about walking through the orchard and lemon trees. So if lemon trees smell good and apricots, they have pretty blossoms in the spring. Yes. And the chickens are eating the ants. <laughs> <laughs> and, um, and next time, next time we're going to tell kids what's so cool about having chickens, right? Hi, baby. <laughs> She's looking for food. So, what else do you like about gardening? Mm, it, it, it's fun to see stuff grow. You can be proud that you actually grew something. You need to know how to pick a good grape. So, how do you know which grape is good? You take the ones that um, there's like a white cover, a, like it's like a dull whitish color over the grape. When that starts to like go away and um, the grape is like turning yellowish, that you know it's good, so you just have to try it. So the brighter color, the more sugar? And the ones that are losing like the white part on their skin. And these are white grapes? Mm-hmm. They're beautiful. Look at this one. Wow, that's beautiful. It's enormous. And it's really bright, which means it's ripe, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. Wow, Mickey, look at these. They're beautiful. What are you doing? Picking weeds. Picking weeds? Good job. You have to come and see these. I think these might be right. Marco, you want to try some of these? All right. For the, those of you who are watching these beautiful grapes, uh, I just want to kind of tell you that um, one way you know how grapes are uh, ready for picking is just by color. If you look at the bottom of these grapes, they're still kind of greenish. And the upper ones have a little bit more yellow color. And those yellow ones are the ones that are ready for picking. They're full of sun. Great. We also grow figs. And here's a ripe one. Let's see what, which one is ripe. Oh, nice. It's been devoured by insects. <laughs> well, whoever gets to it first, I guess. Black fig. And white fig. We also grow peaches. And those are really lovely. We also have great groups. Look how many are here. And, and oranges. And here we also had some apricots. Birds of lemon trees. Mm, this is really pretty. What do you got for us? Great monster lemon tree. That is humongous. I found one here this big. What are you doing? I'm scratching the lemon and then smelling it. What are you doing? Show us how. Show us how. I'm scratching the lemon uh -huh. and then smelling it. It smells really good. Let me see your hands, Mickey. And then <laughs> <laughs> I've been gardening. That's awesome. Okay, Mickey, um, you wanted to show us something, so tell us all what is this. This is my garden, and we um, planted some pumpkins and these little pellet things. Not the gun pellets, but these pellets for growing stuff, and we planted pumpkins and beans. Uh -huh. So we're gonna wait for those to sprout, and then we're gonna plant them. Uh -huh. This is the corn I just found today lying in my garden after we left the chicken feed. I left, I left the chicken feed here, and this is a rose that we planted. And what else you got in your garden? Um, that's pretty much it. So do you think the children need a big a space for gardening or they can start growing things just anywhere where they have a little dirt? They can just start growing anything where they have a little dirt. Um, my, my, my grandma and do you have a garden? So, and then you guys planted the rose here so I started watering it and I had fun. And then I tried planting a cherry tree but I don't know if it's successful yet, but that was like a week ago. But this looks fantastic, and I can't wait till your little things sprout and grow. Growing your own fruit trees is awesome. Go get your own fruit tree.